What has been the highlight to watch back for you guys? Oh, like our love story. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, last night was incredible. It was the best. I think that like was just, I think that was the best episode for me, honestly. Keisha, you said on the show you wanted five children. Is that still the plan, Zach? How do you feel about that? <laughs> I mean, whatever God blesses us with is what we'll take. And, you know, you said by coastal maybe, you're trying to figure out where you want to live. Are there any worries about that? Or are you, what are you excited for? What can you tell me about your plans? No worries at all. It's all We're excitement. Ready. Right? Yeah, it's excitement right now, for it's sure. It's fun. And have you spoken to Claire or Dale? Have you thanked Claire for not sending Zach home? Like, all of this is just so crazy. <laughs> I mean, honestly, we haven't really slept tonight. Is you know, we've been on all the excitement. So no, I have not thanked her quite yet because nobody actually knew the outcome until it was aired. So now that I can freely talk about it, I will definitely be hitting her up and thanking her a million times over for not sending him home early. Amazing. And I'll, th and I'll thank Dale. <laughs> <laughs> you were so emotional leading up to that proposal day. Was that just because you were excited for it, you know, to be coming to an end? Were you nervous Zach wasn't going to propose? What were you feeling in that conversation with Chris Harrison that was like a lot? <laughs> I mean, it was just like a whirlwind of emotions, but also at the same time, I mean, think about it. A couple months prior, I was literally, like I said, sitting in my bed eating donuts. Like I did not expect to be on this um, journey, let alone standing on a platform about to be engaged to, like, or pr proposed to, possibly. So it was just, in the famous words of Tasia, a lot. And um, yeah, I think I just, yeah, it was a lot. <laughs> and Zach, for you, were you like confident that you were gonna be the last one standing? Did you know that everyone was gone already? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't know that they typically send two guys up there. That's. Uh borderline not nice <laughs> <laughs> i didn't do that to you though no i had I, I was feeling good about where we were at this season has been praised for being super real um i think that comes from your relationship that we've seen with you guys and all the men being very vulnerable zach you're no exception you know we're very candid about some of your past struggles on the show were you hesitant at all to share that with with the abc audience or with you know everything no, I mean, that's just, it's who I am, you know, so I'm very comfortable with that part of my life. And I think there's been a lot of questions about that. And for me, it was important to let Tasha know who I am to my core. And if she wasn't going to be okay with that, then we would have just went our separate ways. But that's not what happened. And she was very open minded and understanding. And for me as a whole, like there's this whole thing around addiction and, and mental illness and like stigma. And I, I don't even like that word because I feel like it does exactly what we're trying not to do, which hopefully, you know, people can see that. Yeah. I went and I, I went on this journey and here I am. And, you know, I, I live a really blessed life.